So hello and welcome to my channel and today I've got for you a huge Primark haul and try on. Um, I've already got some of the clothes on so let's get on to it. Uh, I'm going to do it a bit slightly different to how I normally do it. I'm not sitting down today, I'm going to stand up and try the clothes straight on. So first of all this lovely denim jacket. So in another haul I've already bought a black one. So this is exactly the same style but in the blue. Um, this is £13 and I've gone for a size 4, UK 4, which I know sounds a bit ridiculous considering I'm a size 8 to 10. But as you'll see, it is quite, everything at the moment, especially in Primark, is oversized. So I did try it in my normal size and it didn't, it was far too big. So this is it in the smaller which I much prefer. Um, the arms are still quite big, it's got quite sort of a lot of material there. So if you have got slightly bigger arms, you'll find that um, this will do really well for you. But I really like that, I love the colour of it. Really, really versatile. I was after, um, like I said, I've already got the black one, but I was after a blue one as well. So for £13, I think that is an absolute bargain. So next up is this top that I'm wearing already. I've already got this in uh, with a slightly sort of camely brown colour and a blush pink, the stripes, and a grey and white one. So this is it in a it's sort of a khaki green. Just a simple t-shirt material sweatshirt, gone for a size XS, which is a 6 to 8, and this one is £4.50. They are actually quite long, if you're uh, looking for something a bit longer, or if you're longer in the body, unlike myself. I tend to just sort of bag them up. I won't wear it with leggings, I usually wear these with a pair of jeans. But these leggings also are from Primark and um, I've bought these, got them home, realised I've already got a pair, exactly the same. So unfortunately these will be going back because I don't need two pairs. So they're £4, um, they are quite high waisted, they've got a big waistband on there, so it holds you in in all the right places and they are quite a thick material actually um, for a legging. A lot thicker than Primark's normal leggings but I think I actually would wear these to work out in because they are that bit thicker so I wear my others for casual but um, yeah you could wear them to to work out in as well because they've got that lovely stretch and they're not too thin so if you're bending over excuse me you're not going to see bottoms or whatever if you're doing the old with the weights etc so yeah um, unfortunately they're going back but that's a keeper so next up a couple of items for which actually I'm going to use for work so slightly smarter so we've got a pair of trousers these are just plain black um, I've gone for them in a size 8 and they are £10 and they've got quite a narrow leg but quite a bit of stretch um, I've actually already got a pair of these, uh, so just wanted a, a second pair, obviously, for when the others are in the wash. And then I saw this lovely blouse on the uh, the sail rail. I thought I'd already got it, but when I got closer, I thought, no, I've not. I've got a very similar one. But look at the neckline on that. It sort of goes down, but it's pleated. It's lovely. Got quite big sleeves, slightly balloon sleeves. I'm not sure how they're going to look on me, but they're all sort of fashion at the minute, aren't they? And then it's it's quite a long one. It's got a longer back compared to the front. So I'm going to pop this on and uh, see what you think. So this should have been £11, and it was reduced to 5 and down to £3. How can you pay £3 for a blouse? Unbelievable. Um, it's only a size 6, so I'm just hoping it fits. Right, so that's an interesting one. Look at the shape of that. Like I say, it's got slightly big sle big balloony sleeves. Um, I actually think this would have been better for me in an 8, because it does feel quite tight across there. Although, I don't think it looks too small. I really, I think I quite like it. It's dead strange. Look at that neckline. And then it's got, it's not got shoulder pads in it, but it's got like pleats there that sort of give it a bit of um, structure. I 
I've just moved over so you can see the trousers. So they are very snug as a size 8, but as I said, they've got the stretch in them, the lycra. So I think I could get away with a, a, a bigger size. I could go up to a 10, but these actually feel comfortable. They're okay, but I've got a little bit of overhang. So I may well take those back and get a bigger size, but um, I could keep them. But this blouse, if, yeah, I think this might be the buy of the haul. So just to show you a couple of other bits that I got for my little nephew, you know I always buy stuff for Dre. Um, I've actually seen him now. I went to see my family last weekend, saw my mum, my dad, my brother and Dre and um, Alan came with us. It was absolutely fabulous. We had such a good time and he was wearing all the clothes. He got a full outfit of stuff that I'd bought him but I didn't take any photos. We were so engrossed with seeing each other because we haven't seen, I hadn't seen them since last August, so eight months, eight or nine months. So yeah, I forgot to take any photos, so I'm sorry about that. So when I'm in Primark, I always um, go up to the children's section to see if there's anything for him, and there was a couple of bits. So this camouflage, long-sleeved sort of T-shirt top. Uh, this was on the sale rail, gone for an age two to three. Should have been pound eighty. got to the till, 50 pence. Thank you. And then some more camouflage um, trousers. These actually won't match that, they're slightly different. These are sort of a ribbed texture. They didn't have um, a price tag on them. So when I went up, the lady said, oh, they're um, old stock, they're sort of an end of line. So let me just have a look. So anyway, she rang them through and they were 250. So I thought, yes, I'll have those as well, thank you. And then I also saw these joggers, these were cute. I mean, children just get through joggers like no, no, like there's no tomorrow, don't they? But I really like the little patterns on these. So they're green and they're like camping. They've got, uh, yeah, camping stuff. So they were three pounds. And then finally for Dre, I always have a look on the t-shirt rail, to see if there's any t-shirts, well, the ones that are folded up. Just thought this one was a nice one. They didn't actually have many in his size, or if they did, they weren't very nice colours. So this is just um, a nice grey one that will go with black joggers or black shorts, and this was £1.30. And then I thought, I need for myself a couple of new vest tops. You can't go wrong with the vest tops in Primark, can you? So um, just the little cami tops, just got a plain black one. I go for a size XS in these, the 6 to 8, and these are pound eighty. Have they gone up in price? Were they one pound fifty? I can't remember. Leave me a comment below if you can remember. But one pound eighty is still a, still a bargain anyway. And then I wanted sort of a nude colour because I had a t-shirt on the other day. Not a t-shirt. I had a jumper on the other day, and I needed to wear a vest underneath it because it was a bit a bit nippy. And I didn't have a skin coloured one. They didn't have skin colour or, or nude, but this was close to it, sort of a pink colour. Absolutely love this colour anyway. I tend to buy a lot of sweatshirts and things from Primark in this colour. They tend to sell a lot of different um, lines in it. So just went for that one. Uh, I won't be trying those on because you, you know what vests look like. So I did venture over to the sale rail, as one does. Um, now this top, isn't it funny sometimes how you get drawn to the same thing? So when I went in last time, I was drawn to this top. I actually put it in my basket and then I thought, no, I don't want it, I'll put it back. And I picked it up again this time, it's bizarre, and then realised I'd already picked it up and put it back. Anyway, it's just a, um, I'm not sure about this, so we'll see what it looks like on. It's very soft, it's sort of a peach. I haven't had any peach stuff for a long time, just a, a little t well it's not a t-shirt, sort of a, um, a soft I don't know, top and then it's got slightly gathered uh, shoulders and excess should have been £5 down to £3. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's too small. The sleeves, what's going on there? They're not even three quarter length or long. And look, it clings to my little rolls. Uh, I don't think the colour really does anything for me. It's quite draining. Um, I think actually people might think you've got nothing on because it's almost skin colour. So this one, even though it was on the sale rail, is going back. And then this next item I spotted dangling off um, a hanger. And I don't know, depending on how old you are, you may have gone through the era of ski pants, which I did. And I absolutely love them because 
they're very comfortable but with the little stirrup on the bottom they don't rise up so I just find them better than normal leggings because they don't rise up your legs um, and you can tuck them into like shoes or boots a bit better so ha 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 Primark are stocking not stockings ski pants or stirrup pants whatever you might call them now the only problem with these is they didn't have many left and this is a 2xs which is a size four to six so i'm not sure if i'm even going to get in them they are quite stretchy so they're pretty high waisted with an elasticated band so they were eight pounds so let's see if i can get in them well i've got in them i can't believe it um i'm not sure if they just jut out a bit there where they're a bit tight though but these they are pretty comfortable they sort of keep you all in because they're so tight they're quite a thick material um, not really to be wearing it this time of the year but for next winter the only problem is I'm only five foot three so they are a smidge too big they've got a little bit of loose material there they're a bit baggy because they're a bit too long not too big but I could tighten the stirrup on those and make them um, so they don't they're not bagging but I'm surprised I've got those on. <laughs> they are very stretchy, but they're really nice. But if you like this sort of trouser, make sure if you see some you get them because um, you don't see them very often. So onto a bit of loungewear now. Um, the loungewear at the moment in Primark is absolutely amazing. Loungewear and all the sort of gym kit as well, which you could wear as loungewear anyway. The colours, the styles, they've got absolutely loads at the moment. Anyway, I thought I'd have a look at the hoodies because I always buy hoodies as you probably well know so I've got these two um, first of all I've gone for this peachy color but actually just seeing that at the top I'm not sure if this color is going to do anything for me so I will see see what it looks like on but I've gone for two different styles so I've gone for the peach in excess six to eight and then this gray one I've gone a smaller size I've just sort of um, tucked it under so we've gone for the two excess but looking at it, I think it might be a little bit too small. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look at that one in the mirror myself and see what I think. It is quite snug, but I do quite I do wear quite tight clothes. I don't like things to be too baggy. So I don't know. I think just on its own, if I wasn't going to wear anything underneath it, this might actually be okay. Or I suppose actually I won't undo it because I've only got a bra on. But a lot of people wear them undone, don't they? There's more of a jacket. And if it was in more of a jacket, this size would be too small for me on that one. But on its own, I think £7, fine. And they've got, a lot, like I said, a lot of new colours. So this is a new colour that I've never seen in there. Um, they've got absolutely everything. They've got, what other new colours have I seen? The peach one I've just shown you. Um, they've got a light grey, but I think they may have had that before. They've got black. I don't think they ever have white. Um, they've got a lovely khaki green one, which I was in an R in with. I don't know whether I might sw swap this one for the khaki green, but I'm going back tomorrow, so I'll have another look. Right, let me pop that other peach one on now. So here's the peachy coloured one. I think I like this, actually. And trying this one on, it's made me realise that grey one that I've just shown you is too small. I tend to stay away from sort of a lower neck and I think that's the problem with that other one I've just tried on. It's got the lower neck and it just doesn't suit me. Whereas a higher neck, I think it looks better on me. But yeah, I really I love this. They're so comfy. For seven pounds are absolutely a bargain. Um, so yeah, I think I'll keep this one. Clearly won't be wearing it with the, uh, the stirrup pants, but with a pair of um, joggers or jeans, yeah. I think that's going to look lovely so i will be keeping this one and hopefully taking it on my summer holiday and then some more loungewear um i'm not sure on these let me show you them i think possibly separately they might be fine but i don't know if i'm a little bit old for a full-on tracksuit but we'll see anyway these this one this style i think is just a slightly better quality than these um the material just feels a bit different a bit thicker uh, so it's just a high neck, which I've just said I like, um, sweatshirt top, and this is £10. And then for another £10, it comes with the matching jogged, jogging bottoms, which are cuffed. So what I've done is I've picked up, because you can't try things on, I've picked up um, two sets of these in different sizes. So we'll have a look and see uh, 
if it suits me and which sizing is best. And then there's this one as well, which is slightly cheaper. So these, compared to the, the pale blue ones, what do you call that? Aqua, it's a lovely colour. Um, these are similar material to what I've got on now, so these are a little bit cheaper. So we've got the jogging bottoms, and these are a skinny fit. Five pounds, so half the price of those others. And again, I've picked up two pairs of those to see which ones fit best, especially with them being skinny. Um, I don't know which might be, some might be, one pair might be a little bit too tight. And then this top here, if I don't keep it as um, a set, I may well keep this one on its own because it's a zipped up hoodie. Yes, it is, of course. 10 pounds, so a little bit more expensive than this one. Um, actually, the material is a bit better. Or is it? I don't know if it is does that justify another three quid <laughs> anyway this is a cropped one with a drawstring so i hopefully this will fit just to um sort of give a bit of difference to all these ones that i've got i've got loads of these in different colors um so that's sort of a different style so let's pop those on and see which we like best if at all so this is when you realize you're not 25 anymore absolutely no way i'm far too old for this so let's talk about it so the bottoms i tried the smaller set on and um they fit okay on the legs but they were very tight round there and gave me serious camel toe as do these really um they've got a drawstring so you can pull them up a bit um not they're not necessarily high waisted but they've got that bit's quite short short in the body i would say and considering i'm only five foot three that's saying something they haven't got pockets, neither is the top, so I don't know what to do with my hands. Uh, so that's the bottoms. They are quite comfortable, but no, not for me. And then um, this top here, it's such a shame because I, th I thought I was going to really like this, but I don't like, I know it is cropped, but I thought it was going to be just a little bit longer because I'm, with, with me being small, I just thought it'd be a bit longer in the body, but no, I'm afraid that one is going to have to go back as well. But if you're a bit younger than me, it's absolutely lovely. It's a lovely colour, uh, but no pockets, which is a shame. But yeah, so these two are a no and going back to the store. And here's the second one. Uh, you can just tell these are a little bit more expensive because they feel so much nicer. Um, I've just gone for the excess and these are true to size, so I don't need to go down. Um, I'm not gonna just try the smaller one on. So the, tra the joggers are really nice. I like the joggers, they've got pockets in. Um, I've just popped them on with a pair of trainers that I picked up in Primark the other week. Um, so I like the bottoms, think they're really nice. Not the camel toe like the others. The top, however, no, just doesn't do anything for me at all, even though it's the old high neck, which I like. I think this would have been better with pockets in it there. Um, I just think as a casual top, like loungewear, it almost looks too formal because of this neck. Do you understand what I mean? I think if it was made a bit more casual with the pockets, it might look a bit better. I mean, it looks a lot better on the model on, um, in the store and on the picture than it does on me, but she was probably half my age. So no, I'm afraid this one's gonna go back as well. And I think I'm not gonna keep the bottoms because um, I'm not sure if I'd wear them. The idea was to wear both together as a tracksuit. So such a shame, it's such a beautiful color this is. I really like it. But uh, at 45 years old, Belinda, no. And then finally, something I'm not going to try on, but bought myself one of these. Thong. <laughs> these apparently I keep seeing, so I used to wear, right, it's gonna be quite personal information. I used to wear thongs all the time. Never thought I'd stop wearing them. I don't know what it is, as I've got older, I just didn't find them as comfortable. So I've gone over to briefs, much to my husband's disappointment. So I thought I need to try and make an effort now and again. And Everybody has been saying the Primark briefs are the most comfortable that you can get. Uh, you can't feel them. Well, I'm not surprised because look, there's not exactly a lot to it. So I only got one. They've got them in different colours. They had this beautiful like fuchsia pink one, but um, underwear is non-returnable. So I just thought I'd try with one. I've gone up in size. I've gone for, I always buy my knickers a bit bigger. 
Um, this is a small, so a 10 to 12. So for one pound, if it doesn't fit, never mind. If it doesn't fit, would you put that into a charity bag because it's still got the um, tag on it? Mind, uh, mind you, no, I'm going to have to try them on, aren't I? So could I try it on over some leggings? No, for a quid, it's not really worth it. But yeah, let me know if you've tried any of these. Um, if you find them very comfortable. So that's that video finished. Me and my thong are going to get some uh, dinner now because I'm a bit peckish. So I hope you've enjoyed that one. Let me know what you think of these clothes. I know I am too old for some of this stuff, so please don't start giving me grief about it. I realise that and that's why it's going back. But I wanted to show you a few different items. I don't very often do um, try on hauls and I love watching them. Let me get rid of this thong. Um, I absolutely love watching try on hauls so I thought whilst I'm going to do one I might as well get some different stuff um, and try and show you a few different items see what they look like so if you're not already a subscriber maybe you might want to uh, consider hitting that button now and please do give me a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video so I shall see you on my next one thank you very much for watching and yeah I'll see you soon bye for now